The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Uh, we're up uh, 31 points uh, on the S&P cash volume. Yesterday came in kind of light, but not enough to get an instant uh, move lower. Uh, right now on the CBOE consolidated uh volume we're doing about six billion shares which is a little better than yesterday uh but uh it's not anything to write home about uh it's not so uh it's not so low that i would scream crash in a crowded theater but it's not heartwarming to see new highs on what is significantly lighter volume Probably the thing that uh, gets me to say, hmm, the most is the TLT, 143.91. Uh, we had a lot of FUD money coming in, and as soon as they shut the spigots, everybody gets to a selling. Uh, we're off a buck 80 on that today and into some pretty horrible numbers for real estate and uh, real estate sales, new homes uh, and used homes. Uh, gives you a little indication that we're probably... Uh, as interest rates go up, the thing is a lot of people to go ahead and jump and say, hey, we were thinking about buying something. Let's go ahead and buy it before the interest rates go up. We've been doing that for about six months now. And it looks like we've probably gotten to the point where the people that were most likely that were going to jump uh, because they thought interest rates are going uh, up have probably cycled through. And now we have kind of more of a standard run rate. Uh, for new housing in most of the country, not all. Uh, but uh, we'll see about that. Uh, see if there's anything else that really gets uh, me going out here. Of course, the Fed juice, uh, China worries. Everybody's kind of putting them on back, uh, the back burner today because um, someone said that uh, somebody actually made a payment. That's, uh, that's always interesting. Earnings, earnings, and more earnings. We talked about them yesterday. They're going to continue on. Uh, one of the biggest uh, winners, I had a question uh, earlier today on uh, what. Uh, the thing was up like, uh, I don't know, 25% earlier in the day. Uh, if we uh, remember this stock, it's because uh, uh, they went to the moon on saying that they could have uh, wireless charging anywhere in a room for your phone or whatever it needed. And I think it's been a year, maybe a year and a half ago, we talked about all the reasons why it, that would scrap all the uh, um, lessons that physics has taught us and break all the rules. And generally, Mother Nature doesn't uh, like to be uh, messed with and neither do the li uh, laws of physics. Uh, and we talked at that point to get two watts or maybe four watts uh, out to a phone in a room, you'd literally have to be broadcasting something like 500 watts. And if everybody did it, uh, just that would be enough to probably uh, destroy the electrical grid uh, in, the, in the United States. So, yeah, I mean, it's an awful lot of money to, to spend uh, and a lot of power to burn when everybody's talking about, you know, being efficient with energy use. Um, man, what is that? Two watts from 500? Um, the thing is right now that, that they have is uh, the size of a, like a, a under the desk or desktop PC. It's about that size. It's not small. Um, it'd be nice, but... Uh, you know what? People have been scamming people with this idea since Tesla, who didn't know enough to know that it wouldn't work in the laws of physics, uh, to uh, the present day folks who are probably smart enough to know uh, that what they're trying to do breaks all the laws. 
and I applaud them for trying. I don't applaud them for taking other people's money and saying they know how because they haven't said how. Uh, but, uh, you know, from uh, people of selling this kind of stuff, from cold fusion to other stuff, there's always a, a lot of promise in the idea, but uh, that's not it. Uh, high of the day was 265. We're trading at it uh, 218. And the reason they bounced is the FCC said, yeah, you can uh, put a fire hose worth of, uh, of uh, RF energy out to get a thimbles full. Uh, for your phone every hour, but it's not uh, still one of those things where, man, uh, if it popped today, I would have taken all the cash instantly. <laughs> We're in the world, Fleshman and Pons. Fleshman's making margarine, apparently. <laughs> it's still or two. Um, uh, yeah, i am uh, got a, kind of a few other questions here while we're getting started on the day. Uh, uh, NVIDIA. Uh, question about that from Hector. Can we just load up on NVIDIA? Um, the big thing is uh, these companies are not going to do worse. The question is whether or not you just go sideways for a while. Um you know, it's them, AMD, like you said, uh, in the video card part of the market, not so much in the processor part, which is more Intel and AMD. But if you're just talking about video cards, uh, for the next six months, they could sell four times of what they're selling now. That's a horrible problem to have, especially if you're in this business and you think about how uh, much your company would be worth. Um, the problem is you're just in a big trading range and people are now talking about uh, the problems with chip hoarding uh, from Taiwan Semiconductor uh, is literally going after some of these companies for trying to say that they have much bigger sales than they actually have. I don't think NVIDIA or AMD are in on that, but many of the other ones. Uh, chip hoarding is the uh, new in thing to do to be cool. Uh, smoking's out. Smoking cigarettes, anyway, is out. Uh, and chip hoarding is in, especially in Taiwan. Uh, some are being blamed for trying to drive the price of these chips up. They bought a bunch and then uh, through different uh, things are now saying, well, you know, uh, force majeure, uh, you bought 80% uh, of what you wanted and you hope to get the other 20%, but that other 20%, it's not going to cost you twice what it did before. There are a lot of games going on. Um, the only thing I'd say is NVIDIA, uh, chances of much lower prices are slim to none uh, unless uh, something happened like China invaded Taiwan. And that's why if there's any kind of risk, I, why I say it's small, less than 5%, it is existential in all these uh, semiconductor names. So if I was going to buy them, I wouldn't be buying the equities. I would be buying, if you can afford it, if they're not too expensive, I'd want to be in the uh, calls. I don't want to be a seller out here only get, uh, selling options on these semis in case the worst happens. We'll be back in a Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. some discussions at the end, fairly good. The one thing I would say, uh, he, uh, uh, Dan in the den brought up a good use case, and that is uh, having uh, chargeable uh, RF tags in a store or something. The only problem I can see is that uh, the kind of power you have to put out could actually fry pacemakers. <laughs> like I said, this is 500 watts of power. People are complaining about having 10 milliwatts or what? What is that? Two orders of magnitude less power in their cell phones? I don't know on a retail basis how that works. Two, as I said, you could, uh, why the FCC has said uh, it's okay, I still believe that one day they're going to end up with lawsuits on frying medical devices for people and killing the customers. Uh, they've had that before. Um, now, maybe the, the newer pacemakers are better than the old ones, but I remember they used to uh, have uh, some of the old RFID tag machines that used to kill the pacemakers, uh, and there were a bunch of lawsuits about that. Uh, yes, they actually can produce one watt at the other end. They're actually taking 500 watts of broadcasting power to get one watt at the other end. That's what my point is. They're not, it, it's not anywhere close. Uh, you're getting one five hundredth of the power uh, by doing it and not using wires or magnetism. By using RF energy, it is incredibly uh, weak power. So <clears throat> I will continue to say that I am a uh, skeptic, but not a cynic. Uh, I'll, if they can bust, the laws of physics, I'll be very interested. Uh, okay, we got a bunch of questions here. I had to go back up to some other ones. Uh, okay, something about the lithium up here that I probably wandered by. Everything scrolls by so quick. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, where is that app here? Okay. 
Thoughts on lithium market? Thank you. Um, well, in the short term, lithium could be more valuable than gold. Uh, if you've got to be making batteries, another reason why I think eventually uh, we're talking about uh, fuel cells and hydrogen being probably a long-term goal. In the short term, batteries can make money. But at some point, you're going to overtax the ability to produce lithium, and that could happen uh, if we just doubled the production of EVs. Um, so, yeah, someone's going to be that stupid. So, yeah, I don't see any problem with being in lithium for a while. Um, let's do a little history, and we'll move on. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. Uh, in this day... Oh, what did I do here? Okay. On this day in 1979 is something I talk about about once a year. According to Dan Bricklin, the first real release of VisiCalc was completed and packaged for ship uh, shipment. VisiCalc was the first commercially available spreadsheet software and quickly became the first killer app of the personal computer market. Uh, as all things uh, since then, uh, since someone came up with the catchy term killer app, uh, Apple would have probably gone bankrupt without it. But a whole ton of MBAs coming out of college were looking for all kinds of things spreadsheety like And with a fairly inexpensive $2,500 computer, uh, you could actually do all those kind of things you always wished you had the time to do uh, but couldn't. They were all trained in college on uh, these kind of things, mostly on bigger IBM uh, type mainframe PCs. Uh, but, uh, you know, they'd been doing this stuff in accounting for forever. Uh, I met him in, it had to be in the late part of 1979. He came to the computer uh, club in my city. Uh, we had about 300 people that would show up. So it was quite the group. Uh, and he showed off of his account and everything. But, uh, Never wanted to uh, patent it or anything else. Uh, made his money and decided to retire. Uh, but uh, what was left was the idea of the killer app and that, uh, what can you say? You've got to have a, uh, you've got to have something that makes you want to move to some kind of new technology at a much higher price. There's got to be a, a commanding uh, need for it. And that's what the killer app is. Uh, and variety of killer apps have uh, come out over time. Uh, I would say probably for the uh, smartphone, uh, you know, texting, all, always a big deal. Um, moving maps, who doesn't use that today? There's a lot of things that come out of these. And generally, they show mild acceptance and tell that app that really everybody wants, at least makes it worth uh, springing for some big bucks like an iPhone, worth it. But uh, if you're trading any kind of technology, the idea of the killer app is always there. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. uh, question. Okay. Uh, we've got a couple questions. Uh, depending on the frequency, bit 500, actually a lot less. The FCC requires the comprehensive R exposure rules. Yes, they do. But that's why I think everybody sold it off. They may have gotten a, an approval. What's in that approval is much different than what I think a lot of people thought it was. I haven't had time to dig into it, uh, but uh, yes, there's probably some kind of compliance thingy, but guess what? It's probably uh, not using it in retail stores, I would bet, but I'll have to dig into it later. I didn't see a whole lot. 
Uh, let's see. I enjoy your take on electric cars and drawbacks. I don't know if you mentioned this on your show, but one little known fact is charging a car at home is 15 to 20 percent uh, energy loss when charging. The extra cost is con and conveniently not mentioned when the narrative is for you to invest in the electric auto significantly. Changes uh, the amount of kilowatt hours and the final cost of charging that battery. Yeah, it, it's not bad, though, and I think that's kind of it. Uh, the big thing that uh, most people go, well, electric's so much more efficient. Well, it is until you have to think about dragging 200, uh, 2,000 pounds of batteries with you. Even when uh, you only have a 20% charge, you're still hauling uh, a 2,000-pound battery pack around in a Tesla. And that's where 20 pounds worth of hydrogen is worth 2,000 pounds of batteries. Like I said, long term, I know that there's some problems um, that have to be overcome with hydrogen, but I think um, like uh, Sony and uh, Panasonic, eventually the Panasonic VCR won out. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hey, I had a lot of discussion about uh, going electric. Yeah, everybody's probably going electric. It's just how do you store that electricity on the road in uh, houses and everything else? after you manufacture it and that's always been you've got one side of the equation but you don't have the other um so you always have to worry about it 
Uh, did that answer everything? Uh, okay, charging loss. Uh, show question. Okay, got that. Got that answered. Got this one answered. Somebody else in the den had something that I kind of vaguely remember up here. Da, 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 da. Uh, and something else. Uh, eh. If you got a question in the den, go ahead and post it again. I'm sitting here going through everything, trying to find it. A lot of discussions going on inside the tiger's den. Okay. Oh, thoughts of hydrogen? Oh, and fuel cells. We talked a little bit about that. Um, just saw a bunch of new articles uh, out over the weekend uh, for Toyota and BMW on their fuel cells. We talked about last week about uh, one of the new version two of the fuel cell in the Mariahs from Toyota in, out in California. One guy just driving around in traffic got 850 miles on one charge. You're not going to get that uh, driving 65 on a highway, but maybe 600 miles. So it certainly is as good as fuel uh, as gasoline cars, and the ability to recharge in five minutes is still fairly good. So there is that uh, for fuel cell vi uh, vehicles. Um, the big thing is, uh, you know, how expensive it is to to use gold and platinum and other rare earths. Uh, for the fuel cells, but um, there's enough of that stuff to actually use it for fuel cells. And you can rebuild them. They aren't like batteries that you throw into a, a big pit and bury because the four recycling centers for lithium ion batteries have burned to the ground or blown up. Uh, no one can actually agree to say what's in these things and put it on the side of the battery so they can sort them. Uh, so, and sometimes they just lie. Uh, a lot of, especially uh, Chinese batter, Ch Chinese batteries are that way. And that's why we got four out of four recycling centers for lithium ion batteries, uh, that are laying in ruins. So there's always that part of it, but, uh, hopefully they're throwing these things in a pit where we can go dig them up one day and get the lithium out of them when they figure out how to actually doing, actually do it. Um, Yes, uh, the amount of money that you lose up front on turning uh, hydrogen in, uh, I mean, electricity in, uh, to hydrogen, i.e. splitting water and getting uh, hydrogen and oxygen out, uh, is a bit uh, 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 of a burden. But then again, you don't have to haul 2,000 uh, pounds around of batteries. And so it's not as ever, as bad as everybody would want, make you want to think out there in the fuel cell world, uh, that high pressure hydrogen didn't cost, or doesn't weigh much is the biggest selling factor. And the fact that, uh, you can make fairly light fuel cells, they don't, you know, maybe a hundred or 200 pounds. You don't get past, uh, those, uh, 2000 pounds of batteries though. And, of course, they're always trying to make them uh, lighter. But uh, we've talked, and everybody wants to argue the subject, but lithium-ion batteries have only gotten about 6% better in the last 12 years. They don't, they don't get twice as good. They do get a lot cheaper, which has helped uh, on, uh, on that scale. But they've never gotten anywhere uh, close to what uh, uh, Mr. Musk has said that his gigafactory would drop the price to. In fact, they're still four times more expensive uh, than when he started building, um, than the price he predicted after they started building those. Now on Tesla, you got kind of the first dark candle maybe out here uh, today. Uh, to, 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 let's see. And that is Um, okay, so they're after the bell tomorrow night at 4.05. Uh, you're back up here, eh, 13 million shares into 41 million. Let's say you end up with 20 million shares today, um, and maybe you tag that tomorrow into earnings. Um, you'd want a little bit more volume, kind of like you had yesterday. Today, 
Uh, looks a little weak. What you don't have is a lot of energy. Yeah, let's see here. Let's see if we can't get this a little bit more. Yeah. This is kind of kind of what I was looking at. You really have two breaks. But this long move here off of May 19th, uh, why well, there was a lot of money, has been on lighter volume all the way up. And that's what you don't like to see along with lighter volume as you hit these highs. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Uh, we talked about the big one tonight after the Bell NFL X. Uh, not exactly sure what these guys are going to say. Uh, they've lost subscribers, I think, the last three quarters in a row. Uh, I do not know if they've got them back because they're playing uh, uh, the Korean Squid Games thing. But, um, you know, they've got a trend in, in, fa in, uh, in, in a, a long-term trend in losing subscribers. Uh, many people moving uh, to Disney and Hulu and that kind of stuff, and then they come back for six months, and you know they get some more. Maybe they, that's starting. Maybe there's a Christmas rush that we're going to see over the next few years, uh, where people just don't use Netflix in the summer, so they unsubscribe, or in the spring. Uh, but certainly, uh, other than Squid Games, uh, if you don't know what Squid Games is, it's kind of a Orwellian, not eh, Orwellian, I don't know, dystopian. Certainly, uh, uh, idea of uh, pleasure out of the pain of others, uh, interestingly enough. And they play games uh, where uh, if they lose, they die. Uh, but they, if uh, they get to the end of it, a handful of them all end up sharing a big pot of cash. And, of course, these are all poor bastards that are broke. But uh, an interesting show. I watched, I think, the first couple. Uh, but uh, and Korean subtitles, but uh, it was interesting nonetheless. I'm sure they'll rip it off for an American version in no time. Uh, anyway, Netflix after the bell tonight. Uh, also, uh, uh, United Airlines, uh, Intuitive Surgical, always a rocket. Um, if uh, Netflix does not do well, though, I suspect we're going to start the kind of roll that maybe we'll see into the close today. In fact, I saw the S&P kind of ticked down for a little bit had been up about 31 points now we're up about 24 points on the day and yeah just get into wednesday i think uh earnings are probably underwhelming enough uh that uh they're not going to make those whispers so uh, back to minute, uh, give me a call 877-966-4 Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. As we come back in, yeah, it's still around 25 points higher on the S&P. My guess is we close at about 4,500 today. Uh, start taking a little bit of cash off that table um, on the big run. We're just everything kind of just shows we're in a big uh, trading range uh, in the uh, S and P's now, from maybe 4,300 to uh, 4,500 or so. So we're on the very high end of this. And, you know, the Fed uh, is kind of its own worst enemy on it. Uh, the attacks on Powell by the, uh, some of the senators uh, may actually get kind of a early uh, tightening in the market before he comes back up, I think, in February uh, for reconsideration. My guess is, uh, though, that uh, he's going to have a hard time and, They'll probably bow out. I don't think there's a lot of people uh, that want uh, anything to do with anybody uh, that came before uh, in a previous administration. Uh, there is a whole purity thing to consider. <laughs> uh, okay, I got to get this one here. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, we we're talking about plug power. Uh, question is this a buy um, when every time they get kind of a big rumor that they're going to get bought out for the value of their uh, their uh, patents which a lot of these existing uh, companies in fuel cells have been uh, they've been out there you got good volume up on the last thing uh, but it's just always when the next rumor comes out and uh, by themselves are these guys going to make a lot of money no everybody pretty much makes their own fuel cell. If your uh, Toyota's making their own, uh, BMW uh, and Mercedes making their own, um, you know, will they have to give licensing fees to these companies? Yes. Eventually, when someone is going to buy these companies, not do anything with them, probably shut them down, uh, just so they have these big portfolio of patents to beat on other folks when those folks come beating on them. So it is more of a patent war kind of thing, ballot power, plug power, all these other uh, things. Do they have anything intrinsically perfect with their fuel cells? No. What they do have is a lot of, a lot of patents that come out over a number of years. Uh, and uh, it's uh, just uh, industrial warfare. Uh, and you need those patents to go to war in court. So... Uh, the more they get uh, rumored about buying out, the more they're going to do better. Eventually, if you can sit on it long enough, you probably would get 75 bucks out of these. Uh, it's not that much for somebody big to actually buy it. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Hector says, I used to be a poor bastard. I like poor bastards. Uh, if you've got any question about LRCX. Okay. And could their uh, conference uh, move uh, the market in any way? No. LAM research just isn't big enough anymore. Um, what's going to move it? Uh, AMD, Taiwan Semiconductor, uh, NVIDIA. I think that's, they've become the apple of the indexes, right? Those three out there, LAM research. Just, there's just not that much happening out there. Um, you know, you're up on a little bit. You know, could it move? Yes. Is it going to move the SMHs? I don't think so. Uh, TSM, uh, we talked about this the other day. Uh, they are starting to di diversify out. Uh, they moved lock, stock, and barrel, one of their big production facilities, put it in trailers, and shipped it to the United States. Uh, that's being set up somewhere in Arizona. Uh, the next thing they're doing is moving yet another one to Japan. I think uh, that gap. But that's the idea is that uh, if China invades them, who owns the company, what happens? Uh, they're probably going to try to incorporate outside, maybe, you know, like some kind of Bahamian or, or uh, Switzerland company or something. That way, if China takes over, they can just say, hey, well, we, nothing we can do about you uh, invading and taking all our stuff. But to all our uh, intellectual property, uh, all our smart dudes, we've already moved them out of the country, which I think is kind of what's happening. Uh, anyway, uh, Taiwan Semiconductor up, but look at that volume. You got four days of straight volume uh, going lower. Uh, it's not a good position to be in. Like I said, all of these companies have an existential threat uh, to their stock price, and that is China invading Taiwan. And it's not as uh, far uh, fetched as it was a year ago, or six months ago, or even a month ago when we started selling nuclear subs. To the Australians, because guess what? The Chinese uh, Navy has been going down there and trying to to uh, uh, invade even some of the smaller countries like Papua New Guinea. Uh, they found uh, spies, spy ships, people looking at where to put mines and everything. So it's not like China is uh, this uh, uh, benevolent, uh, wonderful thing, although a lot of uh, people that the extreme bat wing crazy side of the political spectrum uh, try to make uh, China a, a, a nice guy and, and uh, point the finger as much as they can at Russia. Uh, Russia's done its work, but nothing to the extent that the money in China could do to us. Uh, anyway, not much going on there. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, SMH is all about that. Uh, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Uh, I thought we'd have self-driving trucks. Wouldn't that involve this huge logistic program? Uh, there's a reason why uh, the uh, semis that everybody has been showing for the last couple of years haven't gone out, and that is that uh, an entire semi can weigh about eighty thousand pounds. Uh, what they found out is that uh, an electrical version would have to have so many batteries uh, that literally you could only, that of that 80,000 pounds, only 20,000 pounds of that would be uh, freight. So you're not going to see electrical semis other than for very short runs, uh, maybe inside the city or something. Maybe if you're going the last 10 miles, you could have, a, you know, you're not getting anything more than about 40 mile an hour. Uh, but the whole idea that Musk waved around um, tells you why there, there isn't even a factory to produce those from anyone. Nobody has done it. The, probably the closest right now uh, to doing any of these kind of things are uh, Mercedes-Benz, who's got a uh, fuel cell-powered vehicle that can go about 1,500 miles. Uh, but I think that's actually even got liquid hydrogen uh, in it, uh, although they could uh, make it a little smaller and put some tanks on it and maybe get that up to 800 miles, which might be enough uh, for just using normal gas instead of liquid. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. said uh, after the bell tonight uh, netflix uh, ual uh tomorrow morning we've got verizon uh, winnebago it's probably got to be a tough business with uh, gas prices going higher uh but eh, maybe it's not that big a deal i don't know seems like they always quit selling when prices go higher after the bell tomorrow night of course uh ibm tesla uh las vegas sands um i think more than a few of these people are going to whiff uh, so I think uh, we probably have a, a good setup for a pullback over the next few days. question is just whether or not everybody will try to ignore it. But uh, I think it kind of gets harder uh, as we go through these earnings to see. Because a lot of these companies aren't uh, Apple. They aren't Microsoft. They're going to make no matter uh, money no matter what. These are companies that uh, higher, bond pr uh, higher uh, interest rates are going to affect now it's not the cream of the tech crop so the nasdaq probably gonna outdo the s p but uh, the old bricks and mortar and uh the big uh steel companies uh everybody that has a lot of infrastructure probably gonna start seeing their prices uh, come down on uh, the stock exchange but uh so it's gonna be a uh, a kind of a what do they call it a uh, tale of two cities Rich man, poor man. Am I going to mix my metaphors enough before the end of the day? Get my uh, ratings back up? I think so. Anyway, uh, we'll see. 
Um, even though the numbers are down on housing this morning, uh, V and Q, the real estate ETFs up 51 cents. Uh, Best buys uh, still in the trading range, although I every day that they don't get uh, product makes you worry. I think people are thinking, well, if they can get it by Thanksgiving, then that everything will be okay. I I think that uh, those sales that you just missed, for the most part, are gone. They get half of them, not all of them. So when you can, not when you have to, we meet at dawn tomorrow for... See you tomorrow.